Hey, what's up guys? Kenshi here. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a, a, a subtle change to Tia's uh, door cards. Uh, I, I noticed uh, when I did the mirror install that there was just something off about it. Uh, so I have the 97M edition. So it actually has the top half of the door card is black. And then the bottom part is tan with the tan armrest. So I just felt that it would look better with the black armrest. So I got lucky. Uh, I found someone on one of my Miata groups on Facebook. Uh, they were getting rid of the, their, their door cards and also the armrest, and it was the, the black interior. So he was cool enough to just sell me the, to sell me the armrest, and all he charged me was like ten dollars, which is nuts because uh, Mas Miata has them for like forty dollars each. So I got that for ten bucks. Uh, we met up in Plymouth meeting, and he's a cool guy. He's doing a build also on a, an NA Miata. And uh, so thanks, Steve. I really appreciate it. He was cool enough, you know, only 10 bucks. So uh, and then so all I needed was the door cap. So uh, so that I found on Mas Miata. But for some reason, they only sold the dr the passenger side. So they, they only charged 250, but they only sold the passenger side. And I thought it was a mistake. So I called them up, you know, maybe it was something off with their website and their catalog. So they said, yep, yeah, no, they, uh, it was right. They don't actually have it for the driver's side. So luckily I looked online, I found it at Miata Mecca, which is uh, their base in Florida. And the guy has a cool stash, <laughs> you gotta check it out. So we found it from there. Uh, unfortunately he did charge $6 instead of 250, but at that point I didn't really care. So. So, Elliot. Oh, oh. Oh, okay, so these are the, the black ones. And you, you'll see a NA Generations Miata. They came out with a lot of different combinations of door cards. And I'll show you. So my particular year, as I mentioned, had the black with the tan, with the tan armrest. So I think I like it with the black. Uh, some generations actually had all tan and all that. And uh, other ones actually has, uh, the coolest one was the red one which actually had like a brushed aluminum for the speaker grill and such. So, so that was cool. And then the other part that we needed was these door caps. Oh. <laughs> these actually float. Uh, the other one. Okay. Oh. So yeah, so I found the passenger side and these just cover up the holes, you know, for these, they cover up these. And so, yeah, so if you're looking for the right side, black, you'll find a Mas Miata, but the passenger, you'll find a Miata Mecca. I think the one from Miata Mecca is used, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. And not sure if you're tan, if you have a tan, you want a tan one. I think you're out of luck. You probably have to look uh, for used parts because I didn't see any tan colored ones. So that's about it. Let's go to the garage and we'll do the quick install here. Well, before we head out to the garage, we wanted to show you our pet. Bearded right. dragon. Yep. What's, what's his name? Charmander. Yeah, we think it's a it's a boy. So Elliot named 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 him Charmander. He's pretty cool. He loves crickets and collard greens. Right? That's like yeah. one of his favorite out of all things, collard greens. So okay, just wanted to show you that. So maybe next time we'll show you uh show you uh we'll feed him crickets. So okay, head to the garage. Okay, so we got. We got the tools, so what are we doing first, Elliot? Okay, so first you have to pry this open. Yeah, the cap, right? The cap color. Cap. Yeah. So, okay. And what are you going to use? Um, a flathead screwdriver. Very good, very good. Yeah, and then at that point you could probably use your, you could just pull it. Mm-mm, not that. Okay. You pull it straight out. Oh, well, that was good. That was quick. <laughs> okay, here, I'll take that. So, of course, I'm going to save these parts. Uh, I got to get, like, a big bin and just store all these parts probably in the basement or the attic. So, what's next? Um, next, what you're going to do is you're going to need a Phillips, yep. right? Phillips. Yep. And, and you're going to want to need to get all the screws out. Yeah, how many are there? Three. Yep, only three. So, it's really easy. Okay. So, we'll start with the first one. Get it in there. You got it. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's nice about the Miatas, the NA and the MBs, everything is interchangeable. So I've seen even people change out the dash with the NB dash, 
but the one at least the one video I saw that it just didn't line up over here so I'm not sure if you can't change the door cards like you have to stick with the NA door cards but you can change to an NB dash I'm not sure about that but the one I saw was right here just didn't line up it didn't look right and plus I like the the NA dash like especially the tombstone in the center I just like the way it looks with these vents it just looks uh not as modern as the NB and up you know it's kind of like I still like that old school feel. So, okay, how you doing here? Good. Okay, you got one off. Yeah, I think it's off. Yeah, that's off. So, get the next two. We could leave it in there and then get it out later. Yeah, sometimes it gets stuck in there. So. Yeah, we could get it out later. Are you coming off? Okay. Mhm. Mm pretty easy. Yeah. got what the last one mm -hmm. and you guys are probably think I'm like insane for doing this but uh again it's just the little details and I I, I still think it, it'll look better and I'm just hoping like say if I go to a meet or like a show and somebody that's a purist or something will notice that like hey can can she uh they, they don't look right huh? are they from another generation I'll say yeah I did change the armrest you know so just to get that bond maybe <laughs> so, I don't know maybe it sounds stupid but I don't know that's what yeah you know, that's the little details i like so. and guys just remember uh take note of the size the length of them these are the bottom ones they're shorter and the one for the top is the longer one so just just <laughs> just in case okay so we have the black armrest right thank you yep and then it should go in that hole lines right up and i could help you hold it while you screw in the the long the long screw first Just push it in. Is it? No, push it first, I think. Push. Yeah. There we go. And then eventually, after I do these, I actually want to go with all brushed aluminum inside. I'm not really into the chrome. So, oops. you got that one? So you want I'll me to change. tighten it all the way? Oh, or? yeah, of course. Yeah, all the way. And then, uh, so I would, I would change. Here, you got it. I'm gonna change these to the brushed aluminum. I think the the vent rings they come with the brushed aluminum. The center console. I'm still not sure about the the actual speedometer. I might go with the wood since I'm gonna change the steering wheel to a Nardi uh, wood steering wheel. And uh, so I might stick with the wood there. And I found uh, the speedometer, the look I want that will change also the the HVAC controls. So more more builds to come make sure you stay tuned and of course it's gonna get bigger and bigger from here you know and I'm also I'm thinking I'm changing the rearview mirrors I want something that's like either chrome or polished uh, I've seen one that rests on the dash which I don't get since I don't know if you can see anything especially since I have my the the, the attache installed right and I'm sure if you didn't see that just make sure you watch that video when we got the straps and stuff and did that i did add a this is a zip tie but you could actually remove i got this from like those the lint catcher like it always comes with those zip ties that you could take off and on not like the other kind that you have to cut so, so that's okay. just a little quick tip is it is it uh -huh. nice nice okay so it's in and we'll put the cap on and then i'll show you pictures compared to the other side Okay, so guys, what do you think? So this is with with the black, right? And uh, Elliot agreed, right? You it like... just, like, what doesn't make sense is that this is black right here. Then it, it goes tan, it goes black, it goes tan, then it goes black. But over there, it goes black, tan, black, and then the rest of it is tan. Yeah, what do you guys think? I think I like it with the black armrest. And, uh... They also had the, the, I think the special edition ones had everything was tan. Like that top black part was actually tan and I think that looks weird as well. I know. And, uh, just... and, and what, what some people do actually, they actually had one where uh, it, it didn't have this armrest part. It was actually just a, a handle. And, and those, and some people put the tags like the, G, uh, the Porsche GT3 RS, you know. 
where it's just like a pull tag and and the reason for that is just so that you have more room but but you know i'm like five five 145 pounds so i don't really need as much room i don't need to to do any of the seat vasectomy or anything like that so so i'm lucky for that so that's one of the reasons why people remove the armrest but you know we don't have that issue so okay so we'll be right back so that's all she wrote guys hope you enjoy the video and what do they need to do elliot press the like button and subscribe yeah that's right guys more builds to come love you take care